guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be talking about bydance and tiktok so bydance is the parent company of tiktok and tiktok i'm sure all of you know about what it does and what it is right so talking about the culture first uh, so addressing the elephant in the room which is the 996 culture which is being talked about in on various forums right so 996 basically means that you work from 9 am to 9 pm for 6 days a week and after talking to multiple people i have realized that this is not true uh, so depending on the team you can have different uh, work life balance so in some teams it is quite chill in some teams it is hectic but a rough idea would be that if you have uh, you know deadlines to meet or you have big projects then you would have to put in longer hours but if you don't have any such deadlines or big projects coming up then it will be mostly chill so most of this depends on the team that you are interviewing for right so it becomes crucial to talk to some person in that team which you are interviewing for to get a better sense of what the work culture is right second part is uh, so there is a possibility that the work culture in some teams might not be that good i mean not the work culture i would say the social culture like interaction with team members because some people prefer uh, you know not to talk to other people because they might be introvert or uh, they might not be that comfortable uh, in english right so there can be a case where uh, this culture might be missing in the team uh, so i think it's better to talk to someone on the team yeah because in some teams it is this and in other teams it is quite chill like uh, you would expect in a multicultural uh, team so i think it varies a lot yeah so coming now to the uh, profiles that are offered by bydance so you can come here as a back end engineer as a front end engineer you can come for ml research right you can also come for for a devops role so there are a lot of also you can join as a qa you can join as a product manager so bydance has a lot of roles available and you can check on their uh, careers website to get uh, a better idea of this right so uh, coming to the interview experience now uh, so for sd1 and sd2 uh, the process is that there is an online coding round followed by three technical interviews and then you have one hr round right so the online round uh, can be skipped in some cases in sd2 roles right for sd1 the online round would be of medium level so uh, the difficulty that i am saying is in terms of lead code so you can expect lead code medium questions in the online assessment right so in the technical rounds uh, the generic format is that you will be asked about your past experiences a lot about what projects you did what was your uh, individual contribution in that and what technical challenges did you face and how did you overcome them right the other part of the interview will focus on uh, the core subjects so os dvms networking so it is expected to uh, you know have a good grasp on uh, you know the networking concepts because some time some teams might be you know working on the low level uh, and solving some issues uh, which requires the developers to have a deep knowledge of it but some teams might want to have a very basic knowledge of it so depending on the team you should prepare accordingly right uh, coming to the next part now so for sd1 roles uh, in the first two rounds it was mostly dsa and in the third round with the hiring manager a system design question could be asked but not a full fledged one like a small uh, let's say api rate limiter right which uh, is not purely system design but if you know uh, concepts of how system design work then uh, and if you have worked on dev projects you should be able to answer it right so uh, how you should prepare for these rounds is that you should first go to glassdoor node fair geeks for geeks and you should see what all questions are being uh, frequently asked right uh, so you can actually prepare a list of questions that you need to uh, prepare for and then you can start preparing for it so i have seen a lot of people going to lead code first spending a lot of time you know doing all the questions but if you have less time you can actually go to the interview experience interview experiences and then make a list of questions and then uh, you know just do them and go to the interview 
because doing a lot of uh, questions which are already asked will give you a confidence as to how you can handle a lot of different cases and you know you just need to have a idea as to uh, how things worked because if you have an idea then your problem solving skills would come handy and you would be able to solve whatever is asked in the interview so the difficulty of the questions asked in the uh, interviews were also medium to hard so the basic question was of medium level plus there can be a follow up which uh, can be of hard uh, level difficulty so for sd1 for system design you can actually read all the system design concepts that are given in groking uh, so you should know about load balancing sharding uh, the cap theorem a uh, very basic things because in sd1 level if you're joining as a fresher uh, not a lot of expectation uh, is there from the developer because the developer has just uh, graduated from college right but for a sd2 role there can be different situations uh, some rounds can be purely dsa based for some teams while for other teams it can be a combination of uh, the similar format for sd1 role but the difference is that more focus would be on system design here right and some teams can also ask you a basic of low level designing so all in all you should definitely ask people who are already working there in the team that you are interviewing for because the process can vary a lot so it also makes sense for you to uh, ask about the tech stack the kind of projects the team is doing because tiktok works on a lot of varied projects so you should actually check with the team whether the projects are what you want to work on or are they the best uh, suited for you right uh so yeah i think it's very important to talk to someone who's already there on the team about it so now coming to the compensation part for a fresher who's just joining from college uh the comp can vary anywhere from 5 to 7.5k then you have 2 to 3 months of bonus then you might or might not get stock units depending on your interview experience sorry interview performance uh then you can also get a relocation bonus you can also get a joining bonus and uh, mostly if you are moving from some other country to singapore the company will also arrange a one month stay for you right uh, so moving to a mid level role uh, the comp can vary from 6k to 8.5k uh, and then same you can have all the different components uh, associated with it for a sd2 role uh, the comp can go up to 10k uh, as the base and all the similar uh, bonuses can be allotted to you So if you want to check whether this salary is enough uh, for living in Singapore or not you can check the video that I had created for expense and savings in Singapore uh, which will give you a better idea on whether this is a good salary or not right so coming to the HR round and discussing a bit about negotiate uh, negotiating your package so the two main factors uh, which are important uh, which will help you in negotiating your packages that first you need to be in the top 5 to 10 percentile of uh, all the people who gave the interviews because uh, by dance compensates the best i mean if you are the best they'll compensate you in the best manner but if you fall in let's say a lower category then they might uh, offer you a mediocre package or even uh, can lowball you right the second part is that you need to have counter offers if you have counter offers or your existing salary is high then you know you have leverage to ask for a higher number right because you need to justify why the company should pay you higher right so i have seen that uh, for companies in singapore they give more uh, importance to offers from singapore based locations right so my friend had uh, an offer from google poland but uh, the companies in singapore did not negotiate or didn't uh pay a lot of heat to the offer uh which that uh like google offered for that location because it was not in singapore right so take a counter offer in singapore is what i'm trying to highlight so now moving to the hr round hr round was like is basically very standard uh, you will be asked why you want to move to singapore what is your expected salary and now is also a good question to clarify all the kind of questions uh, that you might have regarding the culture regarding the team 
regarding the uh, like work from home policy regarding whether you can mo- uh, work from a different country and for how many days uh, let's say the vesting period of the stocks uh, at what price will you get all those questions like who will be your manager where is your manager based is a team based in singapore or is a team based in some other country talking about the benefits apart from the compensation uh, so people who work in by dance get a uh, health and learning allowance which can go up to 2k uh, singapore dollars per year so in this you can actually purchase a lot of courses you can uh, like a lot of health checkups are covered and actually a lot of things so this is quite helpful uh, apart from this like you have health insurance uh, for you your partner and i think for your parents as well uh, in some cases but yeah all in all the benefits are quite good uh, you actually also get free lunch in the office uh, previously it was uh, like they used to give coupons for some app wherein you can order food from there and uh, like you had uh, basically 15 dollars per day uh, so it was quite good as well all in all i would say that the team matters a lot in by dance uh, it can be a great experience if you are match to a good team and it can be a horrible experience as well if you're not matched to uh, your ideal team so i would say it's very important to get a sense of uh, you know how your team functions and uh, how are people feeling in in that team right so i hope you like the video uh, if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comments and please share this video with as many people as you can because this will help me and motivate me to make more videos like this so that you guys can come to singapore and have a great experience thank you